I've been preparing up all the, the landing gear and the gear doors and I was just, I'm skipping here and there for the instructions and I was just, the last page with the pitot tube, I was thinking, oh, which pitot am I using? And then I just happened to look, met the metal pitot tube. Well, where is it? Because I can't find it unless I threw it out accidentally, but I, it's supposed to be in there, but I can't find it for the life of me. But fortunately, there's a uh, plastic one in the kit, so I have to use that. But I went through the bags that the sprues are in, I couldn't find it, so I don't know. Maybe Mang didn't put it in. All right, <clears throat> so taking care of our center seam line in the canopies. It's very, it's not a big one, but still there and it's gotta be done. Uh, you can start off by scraping it. And I come in with a fine sanding sponge. And we can see, you can still see that it's not level yet. So a bit more of the scraping. If you've never done this <laughs> with canopies, it's daunting because you think, oh my God, wrecking it. Uh, you can also, if you want to limit how much you're sanding, you can put bits of Tamiya tape down there, but it doesn't matter. You're still going to dip it and it'll come up clear. So just have faith in the process. Uh, where is it? I got a piece of. What to do with that? I'm going crazy. There it is. Piece of. This is a, like ultra fine uh, 3M sponge, sanding sponge. They are almost just a bit at the edge. Alright. Next up, some polishing compound. And this is just how I do it. I'm sure people have other methods, but... Uh, nice microfiber cloth. Okay, so it's still cloudy. Uh, another way to do it, if you have this is a uh, it's like a Dremel, but it, I got it off eBay. It's uh, it's a lot slower, slower speed, so it doesn't uh, damage your plastic when you're working. Dremel's the rev per minute's too high. This is a lot slower. This is another way to do it. It's just a cotton uh, polishing wheel. It's the same as using a cloth, just the lazy way, which is my way. I'm 
so on so forth. Let's just quickly show. So then I dip it with uh, Pledge. You can see I've had this bottle about eight years. It's starting to get a yellow tint to it from the natural light. It's not stored in sunlight, but just light. We'll get to it over time, but it'll still work. And this is one. This is the one I did already. It's, it's just, just been dipped, so it's still wet. Uh, so let that dry. And if need be, when it's dry, dip it again. There's no limit to how many times you can dip canopy. So that's what that one looked like. It was cloudy like that. Dipped it and uh, good to go. Alright, so I painted this top of the uh, surface of the cockpit, the NATO black. Painted the inside parts NATO black and I've glued that centerpiece on. Glued the front windscreen section on. You can still see the crystal clear, that's what I use for canopies. Uh, not always, sometimes I use Tammy Extra Thin, but you gotta be really careful. Make sure you don't get it on the clear part because it'll wreck it. This stuff, it's just a PVA glue, but as it says, crystal clear. And if need be, you can remove it. Peel the dried glue off and then do it again if for some reason you need to get in there. Uh, what else did I do? I put the, oh, I put the, so I fixed the, Injection pin marks in those slats and put it, uh, put them on. And I put the arrestor hook on as two parts, had the glue, two parts together and cleaned it up, put it on. Uh, I've been putting all the, getting, preparing all the doors and the gear legs and the, uh, the cylinders that operate them all together, ready to. They're cleaned up, ready to paint, and I've done the just glued this together the boarding ladder. Um, so I'm almost getting to the stage ready for prime. Ah, oh, I put the parts in for the on the spine. Another hiccup I've had today is I couldn't find the uh, antenna. For the life of me, I don't know, I look on the sprue, it's not there, and it's not in the box, and I checked the bags, I couldn't find it, so I don't know. Anyway, through the spares box and put that one in, it's not exactly the right shape, but near enough. Um, yeah, and the metal pito mystery, which I've already discussed. Primer down. So we're getting somewhere now. I uh, used AK uh, Primer Microfiller, uh, I've mentioned in other videos, this is over the years now that I've tried heaps of different uh, primers and this is the best that for me that I've come across so far, so I use the grey, the black and the white depending on what purpose I'm using it for, for what model. So um, the last few builds I've done, I did black basing, so for something different. This time I'm going back to the old, where I started with the uh, pre-shading. Um, so yeah, so now next I'll pre-shade with black, and then we will start into the camouflage. The flaps are just loose fit, so I can follow the pattern on the camouflage when I'm painting and I'll come out again and um, when I gloss and decal and whatnot. 